welcome to Incredible Inverts and Other Animals with me, Phil. Now, if it's the first time watching my videos, please do go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, click that notification bell so you know when I upload another video. Now, in this video, we're going to look at an invertebrate. We're going to look at a species of a spider, in particular, a species of tarantula spider. One of the most popular ones that are kept in captivity, especially here in the UK, one of the sort of larger species. We're going to be looking at the salmon pink bird eating spider. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here we have the salmon pink bird eater or Lasiodora barahabana. Well, we can just shorten that down to LP, uh, which we kind of do that in the trade uh, quite often. Now, this is one of the most popular species of tarantula currently kept privately in the UK. That has become one of the most popular kept species of tarantula spider in the UK for a number of reasons. One, it gets quite large. It's one of the largest tarantula spiders that we currently know of. Like, there's only a few species that are larger, and they're the goliath bird eaters. But it still gets fairly large. The species can get almost 30 centimetres in leg span, so it is a fairly sizeable species of spider. Now this particular one that we're looking at here is my adult mature male. So he's not particularly big. Females do get a lot larger uh, than the males. Like these guys, the males are fairly leggy. Their abdomens are fairly small compared to the females. The females are much more impressive specimens. All my others are a lot smaller. They're still juveniles or larger juveniles to sub-adults. And this is my only adult. Another reason these guys are so popular in captivity is their coloration. As you see here, the cephalothorax and the legs are a lovely black colour, and then the longer hairs on the abdomen develop a lovely pink hue as they get older. Now, this species is fairly hardy, which again makes it very popular, and is readily available. It's readily bred in captivity, and they have fairly large clutches as well, and they're not all that expensive, and they are fairly common, fairly popular, and so you can always find an LP available somewhere. They grow at a reasonable rate, and you end up with a nice sized spider. They're also quite prone to staying out and about, which makes them a nice displayable spider as well. And this is another reason that people absolutely love an LP, is that they will actually see it. It's not just a pet hole like some species. The species comes from Brazil, so they are a new world species of tarantula spider, which means they possess percutating hairs. And these are on the abdomen, they can kick those off, and it gets in your skin, it can itch, it gets in your eyes, it can cause temporary blindness. And apart from running away, this is their main form of defence. And they only kick those heads if they feel threatened and cannot run away. And here's a nice tarantula booty to end this video. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that look at the salmon pink bird eating spider. And hopefully you'll agree with me that they are amazing animals. Well, Absolutely fantastic, one of the largest tarantulas that we uh, can keep in captivity. There's only a few species that are large and they're the goliath bird eating spiders, which I don't have any of those currently. Maybe one day I will get hold of a, a couple of goliaths for myself. Now if you're interested in more information on the, the salmon pink bird eater or Lassidora in general, I highly recommend getting this DVD. So this is Andrew Smith's DVD. Uh, on the uh, the Lassadoras. So, so this was his first one that he released. So uh, the, the first tarantula spiders, uh, 1640 Brazil. I uh, highly recommend this DVD. I think it's a must have for any spider keeper. And if you're just interested in spiders in general, goes into the history of them, how they came about getting their name, and also footage of them in the wild. So on location footage. Now you can find this on YouTube. They, he does have his own YouTube channel, which I'll put a link to in the description. So that's Love Tarantulas. But also go to the website again. The there'll be a link in the description and get this DVD. He's also uh, recently released his Bracky Palma DVDs of the Red-Legged Tarantulas of Mexico. I've ordered that, so I'm waiting for that to arrive. If you don't have either of those, you can buy both in a bulk deal. So, and he's also working on a Poclophoria. Uh, DVD and documentary so I'm looking forward to that coming out as well but although this is available on YouTube for free these aren't expensive I think I paid a tenner for this from him so 
Um, and that's the same with the uh, with the Bradley Palmer one from his website, ten pounds. I think you can get both together for fifteen pounds. Bargain. It doesn't not only include the full length documentary uh, of footage in the field. So this one actually also includes a documentary, a separate documentary on the history of the British Tarantula Society. So again, if you don't have that, I think it's a must have. Other than that, thanks for joining me uh, today with this one, this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. It really means a lot for me. And also, please leave me some comments down below. But other than that, until next Sunday when I'll upload another video, I'll see you again. Goodbye.